Game Troops, welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Litz and this is Satisfactory, a little game that I've been playing that's on the Epic Store. This has been so much fun. For those of you that caught yesterday's episode, we were just going through the tiers and building up this base. So the base, the more that we complete missions for this company that we work for, Fix It, the more up, like, upgraded the base gets. So this little room in here, for example, now has beds, it now has a toilet, um, it's got a, a metal box, I don't know what that's for, <laughs> but it's got loads of different stuff. But you might know it's two little buildings that I've got over here. Now this one is a smelter and this one is a constructor. Now what I actually want to do is kind of automate the process of metal plates. So I actually want to build uh, metal plates as kind of an automated thing. Now what I need to do first of all is get power to these two and kind of connect them up. So what I want to do first of all, let's just work this out. So this is a little power pole thing that we've got going off here. So I'm going to put the power pole... Let's put it, let's just put it there for now. And then we need to link it up. So I'm going to get the wire and I'm just going to, no, I'm not going to link it from there. All right, so let's get the wire and we're just going to pull it down to this. Perfect. All right, good. Now it's got the little red thing across it because there's no power going to it just yet. But now I want another power pole, what I'm going to build. And the way that you do the power is going to be really important uh, to how things actually work. So to actually make these three work, well, these two work at the minute, which I've got, is going to have to go... Should we do it there? We'll put it there. And then what I'm going to do is put another cable from there to here. No, I am not for some reason. Why am I not? There you go. So a cable from there to there. And it can have four things running off it, look. So I'm going to run two off this. So I'm going to run there. I'm going to run the constructor. And then there, I'm going to run the smelter. Okay, good. Our little family of ants are still alive. Look, I've been keeping an eye on these... They're kind of like alien ant things. <laughs> but there we go. So we need to fill up the actual biomass burner now. Now this came as part of the base. I haven't made this. This just came with the upgrades. So now I've actually got power running from there to there. Now I need to put a conveyor belt in. So if I hit number three and I just drag that over there. There we go. Oh, wow. So now I've got a conveyor belt. Now I might need to move this around. These may be too close. But I'm going to make iron ingots and I'm going to drop all my iron which I've got 60-something over there. I'll drop that into there. And that should now put iron... Oh, look, so the iron ingots are actually coming out of here. And I want this, which is what I'm going to want it to do, is to make metal plates. So as it gets the iron ingots, it's going to start making metal plates. Now, when we've done the base up, what's actually going to happen is we're going to be able to build a container, which I'm going to put down here, which the metal plates are going to go into. So that, that is absolutely perfect. Now, have I got anything that can mine at the minute. No, I haven't. So what I've actually got to do, if you look in the top right, I need 100 steel plates, 75 rods. Uh, I need, what is that? I need cement. So I need 20 cement and then I need 20 wire as well. And then that'll allow me to actually do my base up. Now, these are the little miners that we've got in there at the minute. So let's just grab that. Let's just take that, 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 that. We can do, now you can take these straight off the production line if that's what you want to do. So you can actually just take that off there and that's it. I don't know where the metal plates go in here. Oh, look, they just stack up there, look. So they'll stack up to 100 there, and that is it. And we actually need 100 of them. We've got 58 metal plates at the moment, and we need a few more. So we're going to have to craft a few things by hand. These aren't going to build up, but right now, that is fully automated. So that is a smelter, a constructor, all running off this power cable here, which is great. And I can also run another two things off this power cable. So I can run another two things off of that power cable, which is great. So let's just go around... And let's just see what we can do. So this is where we upgrade the hub for those of you that watched the last video. So I need 75 steel rods. So let's just ch let's just turn these the uh, iron that we've got into ingots so we can just quickly do that now. Okay, so that's all the ingots done then. And we need to make the iron rods. So we need iron rods to go up to 75. So if we just bump that up there a little bit, 75 iron rods should be great. 75 iron rods. And then we need iron plates still. We're going to need lots of these because we need 100 of them to actually put in. I also need 20 wire as well. Okay, we've run out. We can build 93. <laughs> 93 in total. I need 10 k uh, 20 cable. So let's just get that as well. There we go. So now what we do, we put these into the hub and this is going to allow us to build a little bit more. So we'll put the wire in there. We'll put the copper in there as well. Not the copper. The iron tubes that we've got in there, the iron bars. We can put some of the metal plates in there already. And we also need 20 cement as well, which we can build using the limestone that we got earlier. 
There you go, look. So I can build the concrete. Concrete, cement, what, what's the... Is there a difference between concrete and cement? I'm not even in construction. Maybe I'm, like, you know, saying something that's totally sacrilegious there. <laughs> I don't know. I hope I'm not offended any constructors. So let's put this... Let's put the cement in there, then. Concrete in there. Concrete in there. So we put that in there. So all I need now is a few metal plates. Now, hopefully, this constructor has done them for us automatically. There you go. We've got 22 there, look. So we can empty that out. Now, this is out of iron. It's run out of iron. So I need that to be automated, which is what we're actually doing now. I want to upgrade the base so that we can automate the process from the actual mining part. There you go. We've upgraded that. So we can upgrade the ore straight into the smelter. So if I just press Q now, there you go. So we've got a Mark 1 miner. You have unlocked hub feature, additional biomass generator, new buildings, which can be found in the build menu. Ninth objective. Hub upgrade, molecular analysis. Note, to ensure full mastery of skills and equipment, I have been asked to not interfere with this last objective. Good luck. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> this, the, the actual, like, fauna and the wildlife on here is absolutely amazing. That just reminds me of the things from Apex. But what we need to do now, I just need some iron rods so that we can actually build a smelter. So if I just turn these into ingots again... I think I only need like a few, so I'll just make like 20 iron rods. I think that should be enough. So if I just do that, 20 iron rods, there we go. And then I can make the iron rods. Then we should be able to build a smelter. Now I'm going to need the iron plates, in fact, because we're going to need a conveyor belt as well. So let's just get a few more. There we go. And that'll do us 10 more iron plates. I've already got some, so we should be absolutely fine. Right, that should be enough for me to automate all of this now. <laughs> Fingers crossed that this actually works. So here we go. So here's the smelt. Here's the miner then. So we're going to put the miner on there like so. Now, I'm going to need power going to this miner. So I'm going to need another, another power pole. So I'm just going to put that there for now. Now, placement is going to be a big deal in this game. And I don't always... Don't always get the right placement. What am I missing there? Oh, I'm missing cable. Damn it, I need to make another cable. So let's just go and make some cable then, so that we can actually hook that up. I think we should have enough for tons of that. We can make 14, look, so we're fine with that. And that just needs copper wire to make. Let's make some more in case we need a little bit more. So I'll just make loads of cable there. There we go. And let's just check the next milestone while we're here, just so we know what to save up. There we go. So that's come up now in the top right. So there's a lot that we're going to need there. But I'm trying to automate the process to get this iron from here into here. And I, can I build a container now? Yes, look. So I can also build a container as well. So I'm going to put the container... Uh, I guess we'll just put the container like here for now. Just so that we can come and get the metal plates whenever we want. Alright, again, not the best placement maybe. <laughs> but it is what it is. Okay, so now what I need to do is actually get the power then. I need to do that cable, don't I? So I need to get the cable from this one. And that's going to go to there. And that's going to go straight onto there. Perfect. So that is now mining away. So now the hard part is actually getting the ore itself over this way. Now what you need to do is just build this in sections. So I'm going to build... Let's have a look. I'm going to build up to here, I think, first. There we go. And then I'm going to build from this side out to... Just so that we're level with it. What, about there? Oh, can't afford metal plates. God damn it. <laughs> Always needing the metal plates. Let's put the iron into there. We'll get the metal plates made automatically for us. Now look, this will just stop on the conveyor belt. So all this lovely iron ore, we can actually use it. We can actually just pick it up as we're going, if that's what we want to do. Now, it's pretty slow coming out of here, but it is automated, so it is going to be coming out, like, loads at a time. Okay, I'm stuck on the conveyor belt. <laughs> I am actually stuck on the conveyor belt right now. There we go, I'm off, I'm off. Okay, this is still in early access, don't forget. There will be bugs. So let's just go and make some metal plates, because we're going to need loads of those, and I've, oh, I've got some ingots left, look. So let's just make these then. Make the metal plates, then we can finish off the conveyor belt, which should mean that we can automate the whole thing. So here we go. There we go. And I can only make a few plates here. So I can only make like 13 extra. So I've got 15 metal plates from there in total. And I'm going to get some out of the constructor that we've got here. So I've got another 12 from there already, which is great. I mean, it's so fast at producing once you actually get it going. All right, so where's my conveyor belt gone? All right, there it is. So still may not have enough just yet. This might be a work in progress. <laughs> 
So we want to build it, we want to make it about level. So I'm going to take you to about there, I think. That'll work for me. And then we'll link it up with this one. There we go. So now it's going to be coming straight out of the smelter look, straight out of the mining machine, sorry, over to here into the smelter. Once it's hit the smelter, then it's going to go across into the constructor. And then we're going to do one more. So I'm going to put it into here. So it's going to go straight into storage when it's done. So there, with the power cable set up, it's all coming out of here, look, and there are the metal plates, look. So now the metal plates are all completely automated, and they're going to come out of here. So from the mining machine, into the smelter, into the constructor, into the container that we've actually got here, which is absolutely fantastic. And we need to make sure, the only thing we need to do now with regards to metal plates is making sure that this biomass filter is absolutely packed up and to do that all you need to do is actually get leaves and create this stuff which is biofuel or biomass so if we go over to the uh if we go back to the bench <laughs> i got stuck again oh my god so if we go over to here and all we do then look so we just go over to the biomass leaves create these and this this just means that we can put it straight inside we can put it straight into the actual um thing itself and we could probably do that the same so we can actually we can put that straight into the actual bio mass burner thing here and what's great is we can actually do the same we've got copper up on that hill up there so we can get a production line going down with copper doing the same thing we can also get some limestone from over here so we can get that doing the same thing and hopefully if i have all the containers like in this area i just have to jump from container to container picking up all the different stuff look so we've already got look 26 metal plates in there already so that's actually working really really well so on the next video, hopefully what I'll have done by then, so ready for you guys, is I'll have that all automated. So we're going to have copper coming down from the hill up there, limestone coming from over here. I think this one's actually full already. There you go, grab all. The thing is with these little portable ones, you have to keep emptying them all the time. Whereas now that we've got the actual miner set up, the little Mark 1 miner set up over there, I say little, it's massive, but the Mark 1 miner set up over there, this whole process is now automated which is absolutely great i mean we you can actually get things that like split the conveyor belts out later on and i've looked at some like uh, top end builds on this you know when they've actually got everything all done but look at that that just looks great that is so impressive <laughs> actually on the conveyor belt going around with it but look so and because it's quite a long conveyor belt there shouldn't be very much congestion there's no reason for it to stop it's just flowing nicely now the further apart these are the better the flow is actually going to be of materials this is the bit that's going to be the slowest but if you look there from when we just picked it up we've got another you know a lot of plates there already if we actually just look at the rate that they're going up there so one two let's have a look three so it's pretty slow it's pretty slow the beauty of it is it's passive and you know what when these actually get upgraded later on which i'm sure they will do then it's going to be pretty pretty fast and i'm going to really enjoy that i think and once we've got those all mining into here and we've got all the containers in the area down here which is what i'm aiming for then we can go and explore the actual area a bit more you know go out there and actually look at what's what's out on this great planet i mean so far it's been fantastic there's loads of dev updates already uh, where the devs of our coffee stain studios have actually spoke about all the great things that they're going to be doing so i absolutely cannot wait for the next step but guys let me know what you think if you're not part of the latana army already make sure you hit that subscribe button i can't wait to hear your comments on this build so far and i will catch you guys on the next one take care now